In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the brand new Yeezy 350 V2 Compact in the Slade Bone colorway. So if this is something that you're interested in, let's get started. Right off the bat, the box alone is a lot more thinner and more compact, funny enough, just like the name specifies, compared to other 350 V2 boxes. Why that is, if I had to make a prediction, I would say that it's to conserve, conserve the environment and to waste less space in the boxes when shipping and things like that. Are the shoes really tight in there? No, they fit really well, they're, they're fine. But in regards to this, this is how the overall box seems to look. Just a very simple box, nothing too crazy. It just says knit here, 350, and the details. So as you open the box, you're going to go ahead and encounter the usual wrapping paper right there. And here, the shoes over here. As you guys can see, it is a slate bone color and it's reminiscent of a if i had to combine three colors to make this shoe i would say it's kind of like a white different hints of dark gray light gray and sort of like an oatmeal colorway so when you combine all those three colors you get this exact same shoe and the bottom is cream colored white so in regards to this i got this shoe in in a size 10 and a half my normal size for a normal shoe is 10 and a half so on contrary to other Yeezy 350 V2 models, where you typically recommend having to size half a size up. So for normal 350 V2 models, you typically would have to go half a size up. So for these two, I got it in a size 11, which fits me as if it was a 10 and a half. So if you're getting the typical 350 V2, go half a size up. The cool thing about these is that they are finally fixed. Adidas and Kanye West Yeezy, finally fixed the sizing for this specific model of Yeezy. And these are completely true to size. So don't worry about, hey, do you think it's gonna fit me or not? If your normal Yeezy size is going half a size up, then go ahead and get your normal size. And trust me, these will fit A-OK. -okay. I just tried them on, I got them less than an hour ago. And if you guys are interested on how these look on feet, play the clip. So as you guys are seeing right now, the clip is playing. Uh, this this is how the shoe fits on feet. It fits very comfortable. The knit is very nice, comfortable, tightly knit on your feet. And the cushioning at the bottom, as you guys can see right over there, as I'm squeezing the, the bottom of the shoe, it looks very, very comfortable. And it feels so much more comfy than any other Yeezy model, including the 700s. Any other Yeezy that goes up against this is not as comfy as this shoe. This shoe is 100% the most comfortable shoe I have ever put on. And yeah, that's a huge statement to say, but trust me, I don't know what it is about the boost at the bottom, but this shoe is so comfortable. So for something like exactly like the bottom of any other regular 350, this shoe really does a 10 out of 10 in terms of comfort. Now, in terms of the upper, which is completely different than any other 350, the top part where you might see the dark gray, that is a lot more form fitting around your feet. So it fits a little bit tighter there. It's not uncomfortable, but it just conforms to your specific foot. And then around here, you do get a little bit more, more room for moving around your, your feet. So it truly fits as if it was a true to size shoe. So don't worry about guy, don't worry about that. And personally, the cool thing that I do like about this is that I don't have to worry about having to tie my shoes or anything like that because it has the infinity lacing system as you guys see over there. And the only thing that I don't like is the way that it sort of goes down like that, if that makes sense. But as you guys saw in the previous clip, or if you guys want a little replay as I'm talking, play the clip again. So as you guys see right there, when you go ahead and put on the shoe, it doesn't look bad. It looks more normal and it looks less noticeable compared to this specific area going down, if that makes sense. So in regards to this shoe, 
This retails for $230. And in the majority of the areas of where you might go ahead and get them on the Adidas confirmed that stock X goat, you can go ahead and sometimes even find your specific size under retail, depending on your specific size. Now, if you go, if you guys still have questions about sizing, and if you have the ability to go ahead and try these on feed before purchasing, I always recommend that for you. In regards to this, out of all the previous colorways of this specific shoe, the red one and the blue one were not typically my favorite. Uh, the black one with the hints of tan brown, though, those were fine. That's a good fall time color, but these are by far my favorite color because they're these are the most neutral color. So in regards to whatever you might be wearing, regardless of the top, regardless of the pants, these go with pretty much anything because it's just a white and gray pattern. And it's super, super comfy. Trust me guys, you will not want to go ahead and take these off feet once you put them on because they conform to your foot and the cushioning is so amazing. I don't know what's different about them, but definitely highly recommend these because they're so comfy. So in regards to this, I would give this shoe comfort wise easy, a 10 out of 10. Look wise, I would give it somewhere around an 8 out of 10. I prefer the regular V2 model look, but I'll easily swap that for comfort any day of the week. So I will definitely be wearing these a lot in the coming months because when it comes to comfort, I'm all in. So this is just a quick little review and first impressions of the brand new Yeezy 350 V2 compact color in the slate bone colorway. And let me know what you guys think of the video. If you want me to review any other shoes, what do you guys think about the compact model, the slate bone colorway? Comment all that stuff down in the comment section down below. Remember, new videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, because like I said, there's content always rolling every single week. So I'm gonna round this video up right here. Thank you guys for watching. Ariel Sorio, signing out. Thank you.